Hey guys, welcome to the first video on this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this channel and I also hope you guys enjoyed this video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make heart shaped chocolate chip cookies. This is a really delicious recipe and they are absolutely amazing. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. See you to the end for a few tips to make your cookies turn out even better than mine. And yeah, let's go ahead and get right into the video. In a stand mixer, I'm going to put two sticks of unsalted butter at room temperature. Then I'm going to add in half a cup of powdered sugar, a quarter cup of granulated sugar, and three-fourths cup of light brown sugar packed. Now I'm just going to mix this all up. I'm going to start by putting it on the stir speed so that way the sugar doesn't go out of the bowl. And then I'm going to work my way up to the four speed. Now that I'm going to add in two eggs, one at a time though, so I'm going to put one in and then I'm going to stir that together and then I'm going to add in my second one and stir that together as well. Now I'm going to mix it on medium speed for one minute. In a separate bowl, I'm going to whisk together two cups of all-purpose flour two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt. In a food processor or blender, I'm going to add in two cups of rolled oats and I'm going to puree these until they are a coarse powder. I ended up doing one cup at a time though because two cups was a little too much for my food processor. So now this is what it looks like once I got done pureeing them. And now I'm just going to add them into our flour mixture. Now then, I added in the two cups of coarse powdered oats, and now I'm just going to whisk this all together. Now that I'm going to add in the wet mixture, which is what we did in our stand mixer, and that was basically just like the butter, the sugars, the eggs, and the vanilla extract. And I'm just going to mix that together. I ended up putting it into my bowl of my stand mixer and mixing it with the stand mixer because it was a lot easier. Now then, this is what it looked like once I got done mixing it all together. And now we're going to add in two cups of chocolate chips. Now that we're going to cut two pieces of parchment paper that are 10 inches by 15 inches. Then taking half of our cookie dough, we're going to place that in the middle of our parchment paper. And then we're going to shake this into a 2 inch by 10 inch log. So that way it's going to be 2 inches wide and 10 inches long. Now then on one of the sides of our log, we're going to make a point, And this is going to be the bottom of our heart. So basically the point of the heart. So you just want to make it kind of into a triangle and then we will make the top of the heart later. So yeah, now taking a knife on the opposite side of the point, we're going to take the back side of a knife and we're going to go down the center of it carefully and be very careful when you do this, of course. And you're basically just going to be creating the rounded part of the heart, I guess. And you can do this with your hand or finger. It's very simple to do. I decided to use a knife. It's kind of hard to explain, but you're just going to round out the two top parts so that way it creates the two rounded parts of your heart. And now that we're just going to wrap the parchment paper around our cookie log, and I'm going to repeat this again, the same steps we just did with the other half of the cookie dough. Now that I did those same steps with the other half of the cookie dough, and then I just took both of the cookie logs and wrapped them in parchment paper, and then put them on a cookie sheet and put them in the freezer overnight. Now that my cookie dough has set in the freezer overnight, and I'm just going to take off the saran wrap now, then taking each of our cookie logs, we're just going to take the parchment paper off. And in some places, it tore and stuck to the cookie dough, so I just took a knife, and it was super easy to get off. You just want to make sure you get all the parchment paper off so you don't eat any parchment paper, of course. Then I'm just going to take a sharp knife, be very careful at this point, and I'm just going to cut off the ends to make it nice and clean. And the recipe said to cut them 3 4 inches wide, which is what I did, but if I could go back, I would probably cut them about half of an inch because I think 3 4 of an inch is way too thick. So I'd recommend cutting them at like half an inch or something. And yeah, then once I got that done, I just put them in the oven. I preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and I put them in the oven for 9 to 10 minutes, but it will depend on your oven. 
Now that my cookies are out of the oven and this is what they look like and they are completely cooled and everything, and I do have a few tips though. One of my tips would be to make the indention in the middle of your heart a little bit deeper than I did because honestly not all my cookies turned out like this. Some of them kind of looked more like triangles than hearts. So I'd recommend making the indention in the middle a little bit deeper so that way it will look more like a heart. My second tip is to use mini chocolate chips and this will just help with the cutting process. And I just think it makes it a lot easier. I used the regular size chocolate chips and it was just a little bit harder to cut through. And my third tip is once you take your cookie logs out of the freezer, I recommend letting them sit for about 5 minutes or so until cutting them and it makes it 10 times easier to cut through. Obviously my second cookie log sat out of the freezer for a few minutes and it was way easier to cut. But overall I think these cookies turned out really good and they are so delicious. I hope you guys gave this recipe a try. And if you do, let me know in the comments how they turned out and if you liked them or not. I personally think they are really delicious and they're probably one of the best chocolate chip cookies I've ever had in my life. So yeah, again, let me know what you guys thought of this video down below, and please subscribe and like this video as well. Also, you can make these into cookie sandwiches, and I will leave a link down below to a super easy vanilla frosting recipe that is great. So I'll leave that down below, so if you want to, you can make these into cookie sandwiches. Also, in case you're wondering, I think I got about 36 to 40 cookies. So yeah, I hope you share these with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and favorite, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Thank <laughs> you.